Hello beautiful internet family, Dan here from danstube.tv and today I'm checking out a Mavic Air clone. This drone is called the Ichin E511S and if you're new to my channel then make sure to subscribe as I release brutally honest tech reviews and thorough tech content on the channel. So subscribe and hit that notification bell and you will be notified when I release future tech reviews and tech content. The Ichin E511S is available through the Banggood website. I will have a link in the description below to check this out and I'll also have a coupon code as well so make sure to use that if you want to save some money. But let's get into this. Is this Mavic Air clone worth your money? Is this a good starting drone? Is this a good drone for beginners, kids or anyone out there that just wants to have a practice? Let's get into it and we'll find out. The price of this drone will vary depending on what currency you're using and also what version you pick up. So if you pick up the 5G Wi-Fi 1080p version with two batteries, it will cost 181 Australian dollars. So that includes the two batteries, the drone, the controller, and then also you can just download the accompanying app. So for under 200 Australian dollars, you get a pretty decent kit here. You get something that can really stand the test of time. And I say that because I've crashed it a few times and it just seems to keep going. It's quite a robust unit. It seems to handle a beating and it also does a really good job of just holding its position. And that is something you want if you're a beginner. If you've never flown a drone before, it's an interesting experience, you know, it's nerve wracking and it's also quite unpredictable. So the fact that the E511S actually has GPS hold, it means that it can actually hold its position and this will give you massive peace of mind because the drone is very reliable and stable in the air. That's one of the things I really noticed about this drone and it's the main reason why you're getting a drone. Now at this price range, the 1080p camera is okay, it's decent, it's nothing you're going to be overly impressed with. It doesn't have stabilization, and when you actually look at the footage, it's nothing too impressive. But the fact that it has a 1080p camera for your vision is the main thing. The fact that you can actually see through the app what the drone is seeing, that's really important. And then the fact that the drone hovers and it just holds its position, it's locked to GPS and it just hovers, that is massive that gives you so much peace of mind and for anyone that's starting out with a drone that's something that a lot of people are worried about they have no idea what to expect and this drone is really reliable in the air and that's the main thing you would want in a drone especially one of these cheaper drones that isn't on the high-end spectrum where you're trying to really get crazy 4k footage this drone is really intended for people who want to have a bit of fun for people who want to practice flying for people who have never flown a drone before and it would even be perfect for kids as well it's really safe really easy to fly and it's extremely stable in the air and that's the one thing that stood out about this drone over a lot of the other cheaper drones that I've tested in the past this drone is just stable it just holds its position and it's really reliable I had no issues with it at all I love the fact that it's a portable drone as well, it's designed to look like the Mavic Air, so it has the folding legs, so it folds down to a nice compact size. I was also really impressed with just the build quality overall. It doesn't feel necessarily high-end or it doesn't feel like they've used particularly expensive materials in the build. It does have a little bit of a plasticky feel to it, but it was solid. It really is a solid build. It's got hard plastic and the propellers seem to really hold their ground as well. Like I've crashed this thing a few times and I've had no issues at all. And the reason I crashed it was to test how durable it is because in an everyday setting, people are going to be crashing these drones. They're intended to be cheap throw around drones. So the fact that you can really just crash it and then go again is fantastic. Not that I'm intending for people to crash, but it's just good to know that it can take a beating and it can continue going. In terms of battery life, they reckon you get about 16 minutes, but from my experiences, I reckon maybe 10 to 12 minutes of flight time, which is decent, so I would recommend getting the additional battery. And another thing to mention is it takes a while to charge the batteries, probably about 180 minutes from what they're saying in the manual, and I can vouch for that as well. It took a long time to charge the battery. So the fact that you can have multiple batteries is fantastic. Really easy to load the battery in and overall that experience wasn't too hard at all. I was pretty impressed. And then when it comes to controlling the drone with the controller and the accompanying app, 
That was a really easy process. After I figured out how to calibrate the compass and set everything up, it was pain free. The one thing I will mention is the phone holder on the controller feels very cheap and my phone has slipped a few times, so that's something you need to be really mindful of. But the overall build quality of the controller, like the sticks, the buttons, the on-off switch, everything else besides the phone controller is really well built and I'm assuming it's going to be very robust because it is quite a solid plastic. And also there's a nice texture on the controller as well to ensure that you have good grip as well. So the only thing is to be mindful of the actual phone holder. The drone also features a return to home feature, which works really well. From all of the tests that I put it through, it did a good job of returning to pretty much roughly where I had taken off from. And it was good. It did a great job, especially when it comes to low battery. It will hit a point and then it'll actually return to home for you, which is really, really handy, especially for people who don't really understand how important it is to kind of land with a bit of battery. So for example, kids that just want to fly and keep flying, the drone will actually force itself back. So that's really important and something that I found to work relatively well for the most part. So I was impressed with that. It also offers a follow me mode and the altitude hold mode, which I was talking about before, where it actually just locks the altitude and just holds it in that position. Again, it has the GPS enabled so it knows where the drone is and that was something that was really handy. The app itself has a pretty nice build to it and it actually features a map and a few different options as well so you can see what's going on and you have a bit of control over that. You can also customize your flight path which is done through the app. Again, another really cool feature. And you can do a surrounding flight, which is similar to the intelligent flight modes on the DJI drones. It also features a follow me mode, as well as easy takeoff and landing options on the controller and in the app itself. So overall, I was honestly really impressed with this drone. This is probably one of the best low-end drones that I've tested in a very long time. The build quality is great. The overall experience of the flight is fantastic. That's one thing that I just can't knock at all. It flew like a champion, and that's exactly what you want in a drone, especially if you're flying a drone for the first time. If this is your first drone, then yes, this would be fantastic. It's portable. It's really, really safe in the air. It has all of these amazing modes. It has a decent battery life on it. And overall, it's just a fantastic starter drone and a great drone to practice with. So fantastic for a lot of different people and a great gift for really anyone that wants to start out but doesn't want to spend too much money on a drone because they can become expensive. So for under 200 Australian dollars, you can pick up a really solid drone with two batteries, a 1080p camera, and a controller with an accompanying app and a foldable design with just everything you would need in a drone. So definitely check it out guys if you're in the market for a new drone, if you want to get a cheaper drone that you can kind of just do whatever you want to with it and have a bit of fun, then this could be the drone for you. I will have that link in the description below to check it out on Banggood, as well as that coupon, so make sure to use that if you are going to pick it up. But thank you so much for watching, make sure to have a fantastic day, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to the channel, and smash that notification bell so that you will be notified about future videos. If you want to see more on this drone, then let me know, I can make another video on the channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, make sure to have a fantastic day, and peace out.